Hey everybody, my name is Sue B and I am an embroidery artist. Video one, we've learned how to hoop with it. We've learned that the machine does not understand that you have a smaller hoop. It only sees that it has a larger hoop. And today we're gonna bring in a design and show you how to make sure you're not gonna hit the hoop and you have to be very careful of this. So remember all of my warnings from the first one, these are very strong magnets. Don't hoop anywhere near a computer or your phone or anything like that. Watch your fingers and make sure you don't snap them too much. I did it once and it made a loud enough noise to set off my house alarm, crash alarm. So you don't want to do that. You will damage them. I also went over on how to store them properly. Now the hoop I'm using today is a seven and a quarter. So it's seven and a quarter by seven and a quarter. They're very thick and they hold. Let me tell you, they hold. So let's go. I've already sent my design to the machine. So let's go. Here it is. Now it's a PES file, so it comes in crooked. So let's just hit set right there. Um, you can either use your finger if you have long nails like mine, or right behind here is the stylus. I tend not to use it for no reason. Um, so let's rotate that just so we can see it better. And plus, because the way I have it hooped, that's how I want it. So I just did the rotate. Now I'm going to close and then I'm done editing. It's in the middle. It's done. I'm done editing. So edit end. Now, before you ever go into sewing, every single time you're using these hoops, every single time, even if you're sure, trace it anyways, you must trace it anyways. And right here, is the button that you want to use. Now, how to figure this out, people get really confused. Now I am on needle one. So now I'm going to press the trace button and you'll watch the needle here and it's going to move. And that's, if you don't know what needle you're on, that's what's going to tell you. Trace button. See how it moved? Now watch where it's tracing. Isn't that great? Now you know it's not going to hit the hoop. I would hate for anyone to stitch anything without knowing 100% that this isn't going to hit the hoop. And I'm quite certain I had at least a good inch on each size side, so I'm not worried about it at all. So always, always trace, and it's this easy trace button. So remember that when you're using these amazing mighty hoops that you need to know where your design is going to be placed in the hoop and you need to trace it for sure. So thanks everyone for watching. Please remember to like our video and subscribe to our channel to let us know you want more videos just like this.